Now see the next topic, coordination compound part one. So first question asked into two 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 thousand twenty one. So name given is ethylene diamine diamine tetra acetate. Short form is EDTA. Iron is. Iron is. So, which type of ligands you have to tell? So, so ethylene diamine tetra acetate. So, I will make the structure, then we will discuss. So, its structure will be O minus C double bond O CH2. In, in this is nitrogen and it is again CH2 C double bond O O minus so it is making CH2 CH2 in CH2 C double bond O O minus So this is the lone pair at, at nitrogen. This is the lone pair at nitrogen. So B option. So ADT ion is hexadent ligands. So hexadent means six lone pairs of electron is donating. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it is Hexadent ligands. Hexadent ligands. Having four oxygen donor atom. So this is your donor atom of oxygen. This is donor atom of oxygen. So remember the structure, very important. And two nitrogen donor atoms. So this nitrogen and this nitrogen is having lone pair so it also act as donor lone pair act as donor nitrogen atom contain lone pair of electron while oxygen carrying negative charge which can donate the to metal or metal ion so total how many donors are there six so answer is hexadent ligands with four oxygen atom and two nitrogen atom Act as a donor. So B option is there. Asked in 2 to 1 in need. Now look at the second sum. Match the following. Choose the correct answer for the option given. So you have to find the Bohr magneton, means magnetic moment. So FeCN6. Raised to 3 minus. Right. So you have to find the oxidation state. And find the oxidation state of this iron. So it is Fe3 plus now. So how will you calculate? So see. It is Fe6 time of Cn is equal to minus 3. So Cn holds minus 1. So it will be 6 of minus 1 equal to minus 3. So Fe will be 6 minus of 3. So it will be plus of 3 Fe. Understood? So as we know atomic number 4 iron is 26. So electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. 3p6, 4h2, 3d6. So count the number of electrons. So this is your 2, this is your 8, this and this gives 8. 
and this is 2. So 20 and this will be the 6. So 26 total. So for Fe3 plus, after losing 3 electrons, it becomes 23 atomic number. So 2 electrons lose from the S and 1 from the D. So it will become 3D5, last orbital, 4S0. So how many unpaired electrons are there? After making the combination. So for calculating 4 magneton, we use mu formula. So mu formula is equal to n into n plus 2. So n is nothing but number of number of unpaired electrons. Unpaired electrons. Right. And it is doing CN is a strong field ligands. CN is strong field ligands. So its electronic distribution will be here is called EG and here two box suborbital that is called T2G. T2G. This is two. So total five electrons are there. So first give one one electron, they then paired it. So total how many unpaired electrons are there? One. So put in the formula. So mu is equal to under root n into n plus two. So n equal to one. So this is one into one plus two. So it will be under root of three. That is 1.72. Right. Bohr magneton. Unit is Bohr magneton. So when a strong field ligands first fill the lower orbital and for the weaker ligands first all fill all the right. So this is the explanation for FeCN6 3 minus. Next one is next example is D Fe H2O6 raised to 3 plus. So here oxidation state for iron is also plus 3 here because H2O holds 0 oxidation state. So it will be Fe 6 of H2O is equal to plus 3. So it doesn't hold any charge. So it will be equal to plus 3 only. So last electronic configuration is 3D5 after losing 3 electrons now. So this is the Fe 3 plus electronic configuration right now we have formed but water is weak field ligands right water is weak field ligands so so there are total six or six five orbitals in d orbit so i will distribute the one one electron so one two three four Five. So this is your 3dxy. This is 3dyz. 3d zx. 3dx square y square. 3z square. So total five unpaired electrons are there. So put in the formula. So formula is mu is equal to under root n into n plus two. So it will be five into five plus two. So it will be equal to 5 into 7. That is equal to 35. So it will be equal to 5.9 Bohr magneton. Right. Now see the next explanation. Third part. Third question is. It is FeCN 6 raised to 4 minus. So find the oxidation state of iron. So it is Fe 6 Cn is equal to minus 4. So it will be Fe 6 into minus 1 equal to minus 4. So Fe value will be 6 minus 4. That is equal to plus 2. So its oxidation state will be Fe V node. Right. That is 4H2 3D6. So we reduce the two electrons for Fe 2 plus so it will be 4s0 3d6 and we know strong field ligands cyanide 
so it will do the pairing first in the lower orbital so six electrons one 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 three four five six so no unpaired electron is there so n is equal to zero so mu is equal to zero for this f is cn6 four minus right now see the next next is f e t option is f e c n no it is h2 o h2 o six times raised to two plus so iron oxidation state is here is plus two sure. so it is losing 3d6 electrons are there weak field ligands so total how many orbitals one two three four five and one is paired so unpaired is here four so put four value in the box so this will be getting four into four plus two so it will be four into four plus two is six so it is 24 it is near to 25 so it will be 4.9 more magneton right write it down Now look at the third sum. Calculated a spin only magnetic moment of Cr2 plus is Cr2 plus is asked in 2020. So electronic configuration for chromium is chromium atomic number is it starts from a scandium, right? A scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium. So it is 21, 22, 23, 24, right? So chromium electronic configuration will be argon is 18. So it is argon 3D5, 4S1. So this will be the electronic configuration for chromium and for Cr2 plus 2 electrons are losing. So it will become argon 3D4 4S0. So number of unpaired electrons. Number of unpaired electrons will be 4 then. N is equal to 4. So mu is equal to under root of N into N plus 2. So it will be equal to 4 into 4 plus 2. So it will be equal to 4 into 6. So it is equal to under root of 24. So 4.9 Bohr magneton. Answer is. Right. So third is asked in 2020. Now look at the fourth one. Next is which of the following is the correct order of increasing field strength of ligands to form coordination. So ligands are given SCN minus F minus CN minus C2O4 2 minus. So you have to arrange according to a strength. Right. So remember the spectrochemical series. It is given in NCRT. That is called spectrochemical series so it is given like i minus br minus scn minus cl minus s2 minus so they are arranged as in increasing order oh minus c2o4 2 minus H2O, NCS minus ADTA, 4 minus, next is NH3, EN, CN minus CO. Right, so find out where SCN lies. So here it is lying, then F minus, then CN minus then C2O4. Where is C2O4 2 minus this one? 
So first come SCN minus, right? So it will be SCN minus, then F minus, then C2O4, 2 minus. Next is CN minus. So this will be the answer for given question. Now look at the fifth sum. The type of isomerism shown by so it is CO, Cl2, En2. Is which type of isomerism? Ionization, coordination, geometrical linkage. So it is asked in 2018. So see here, it's so mainly geometrical isomerism. Coordination number is six. So it's so geometrical isomerism. Coordination number is six. So structure will be octahedral geometry. Octahedral geometry. So I will make the diagram then CO. It is CL, CL. This is transform. Optically inactive. Next is after transferring, so it will be cis. So it is CO, CL, CL. This is cis form. Optically active. So write down asked in 2018. Now look at the question number six. Correct order of escometric of AgCl formed when silver nitrate in axis is treated with complex. So AgCl formed when so it is formed when silver nitrate react with different coordination compounds. Suppose first it react with CoCl3 6 H N 6 N S 3. Next one is C O C L 3 5 N S 3. Next is C O C L 3 4 N S 3. Respectively. Asked in 2017. So see here explanation. So according to Werner theory, so when it dissociate, it forms. So according to Werner theory, Werner's theory, COCl3, six moles of ammonia, it produce CONH3, six three plus. 3 moles of Cl minus. Right. In a similar manner, CO, Cl3, 
5 NH3, it produces CO NH3 6 2 plus 2 Cl minus. Here Cl is there. Next is CO Cl3 4 NH3. So it dissociate and form CO NH NH4 Cl2 plus Cl minus. So when silver nitrate react with them, so it forms right. So they are reacting with silver nitrate. Right. So first will form like after reacting silver chloride 3 AgCl will form reacting with AgNO3 now form. plus TO NH3 6 3 plus in the similar manner this will form 2 moles of AgCl this will form 1 mole So you can write the answer like this. So it will be C option 3 AgCl. First will be forming. This is 2 AgCl and 1 Cl AgCl.